so, so excited. <laughs> Author, journalist, and philanthropist Mitch Album has written eight number one books, eight of them, including, of course, Tuesdays with Maury, one of the best-selling memoirs mm. of all time. Yeah, his latest novel is called The Little Liar. It's a parable that explores truth, deception, and, of course, forgiveness. Every time Mitch Album comes on this show, he is about to deliver, like, a book full of life lessons. And they always come with a bow on them, and they're always different. <laughs> and this book is about the truth, yeah. which is a beautiful, obvious concept. How did the concept come to you, Mitch? Well, uh, I've been working on this for a long time. It basically is a kind of an epic love story between two kids in Greece, Nico and Fanny, who were separated when the Nazis come into their village during World War II. Fanny's taken away to the ghetto, but Nico is held because he's never told a lie in his life. Mm -hmm. And the Nazis decide to use him. They put him on the train tracks and they say, just tell people that they're going to new jobs and new homes, and then you can go back to your family. Mm -hmm. So thinking he's telling the truth, he does this, and only when the last train is sent out, he sees his family and Fanny being shoved into a boxcar, and uh. he learns that they're going to the concentration camps. And it's what happens to him over the next 40 years is he has to live with what he's done, and he changes his name, and he becomes a pathological liar, and he can't face the truth. Right. But Fanny gets out and tries to find him to forgive him mm -hmm. for because she knows it wasn't his fault. One of the writing techniques you did in this beautiful book was you used truth yeah. mm -hmm. as the narrator, yeah. which is a beautiful concept. How did you decide to do Well, because I decided this, the first lines. You can trust the story you are about to hear. You can trust it because I'm telling it to you, and I'm the only thing in this world you can trust. I'm the shadow you cannot outrun. I am truth. Oh. And I figured if a book starts like that, people will want to read what comes next. Yes. How does this come to you? Like, I'm always fascinated with all of your books. I know how Tuesdays with Maury obviously came to be. But every book you have has a unique perspective, a unique point of view. Um, how, does the, how does the structure come to you? Well, to be honest, almost every book that I've written since Tuesdays with Maury has a piece of Tuesdays with Maury in it, mm. something that I learned alongside him. And in this case, it was a lesson about forgiveness, mm. that you know, as he was dying, he said to me, Mitch, if there's anybody you love or you care about, let your arguments go. Forgive everyone, everything, and then forgive yourself. Mm. And I wanted to do a book that was about what's the worst thing you've ever done or the worst lie you've ever told and what you, would you do to be forgiven? Mm. And this is really a, a story about how oh, wow. this little boy tries to be forgiven as he grows up and, and how love ultimately heals him. I mean, forgiveness is such You're going to start crying again. I know. And this well, happens I, every time I come well, on this show. There's something about Mitch. You know why? Because he's living in this truth. He's yeah. living in this place of purpose. And not just from your beautiful books, but from your orphanage in Haiti. Like, you are walking the walk. I mean, I feel like so many people do things and say they're going to. This, by the way, is Mitch Album's orphanage that he has been running in Haiti for years and it is, you know, just, it's all goodness. Tell yeah. us a little bit about what's Well, the kids are doing great. They're very inspiring. In fact, you know, the book is about kids because I spend so much time with yeah. kids and I kind of understand their traumas. And they're actually um, reviewers. Like, I, I give them my books and let them read them now because we don't have TV, we don't have internet, so books are huge. And, and they, I think they actually did a, like a series of reviews of the book, and uh, they give me a lot of good tips. What'd they say when you, about it? I know. I think you have a video of it. I, I, I think they're going to like it. You know, they're not yeah. going to tell me that it's bad. But um, <laughs> you know, Haiti's very tough. Uh, it's very unsafe. But the kids are remarkable. What are they? What are you? I mean, I know what you're giving to the kids. What are they giving uh, to you? Everything. Everything. <laughs> Perspective, love. Um, the feeling that you're doing something important. I always say we sleep on a little four inch mattress there, unlike a very, very nice mattress we have at home, but I never sleep as well as when I'm in Haiti because I go to bed knowing that I'm doing something important and I wake up to the sounds of kids squealing outside, Mr. Mitch, come outside, you know? And so um, what could be more significant than that? I know you said in your life, you and your wife didn't have biological children, but you have so many kids. And I think that's just such a beautiful, beautiful testament. Yeah. Yeah. To you. Oh. And this book is another one. I mean, I have a little Mitch album section in my house. <laughs> library. Oh, because it, whenever I feel like I'm in a funk, I pick one up. And okay. I'm like, you know what? This will turn it around. So. Yeah, and this book so. is timely yeah. and beautiful yep. and important. Yeah, well, especially now with what's going on with the truth. You know, there's an old expression, a lie told once is always a lie, but a lie told a thousand times becomes the truth. And uh, we're in a time that there's a lot of stuff like that going on. People are picking their own truths. So it's important to remember that, you know, Truth is a, a precious virtue that we yeah. need to protect.
It's very true. Thank Mitch. you, Mitch. Thank, Thank you, you, Mitch. We're so happy you're we here. We feel better. You got it. I feel better if you didn't book. start crying every time. <laughs> okay, like, we can't help you. We can't get a complex. <laughs> you can check out The Little Liar. Y'all go and get it. You can get it at today.com slash books or wherever you buy your books.